2035, what do you think the future will look like? We believe that everyone plays a crucial role in breaking barriers for a better tomorrow. In 2017, Acer initiated Project Humanity to encourage employees and partners worldwide to create a positive impact beyond ESG requirements through their professions. In 2020, more than 60 environment education projects were initiated from employees in over 40 countries. In today's event, we have also invited a special guest to share how we can contribute to the future together. So do stay with us till the end. And what do we aim to achieve via Project Humanity? In the education side, we want to help bridge the digital divide and cultivate talent around the world. On the environmental side, we wish to help create a greener tomorrow through innovative solutions. In fact, many of our employees' initiatives have redefined the current situations. Let's take a look. Everybody loves to go home where it's like a clean, nice place, your safety area. So if you think of a bigger scope, this is the earth. We are really close to the point of no return for climate change. We have to take action. We can't let it happen. It's important that we be good stewards of the environment. Many of the initiatives that we have in place are in alignment with that philosophy. I ask myself what I can do to make a difference. I launch a program to develop closed-loop production. We start to think about the true value of packaging design. Our goal is using the existing packaging to do something else to give it a second life. We are offering our customers the possibility of ordering the products by train instead of air. This gives them faster shipments with reduced CO2 emissions. Sustainability doesn't need to mean compromise, especially if you think creatively. It's never too late to update our design thinking and method. It needs to include sustainable material, repairability, upgradability, and recyclability. One thing we think is also important is visual identity. We can be the leader to create this demand for green solutions. Because change has to start somewhere. We know some changes may seem small, but if you repeat them a million times, the change will be significant. That's wonderful. What you have just heard is a voice from our employee all over the world, from the bottom of their heart. Now we'd like to extend our impact of a circle from internal vision, our values to employee, suppliers and partners, then to consumers and the whole society. Allow me to introduce you, Acer Erzian. Earthian means Earth and mission, so it's a word that we invented. It's our mission to tackle our generation environment challenges through innovation, integrated solution. It is a collaboration across supply chain, functions, and multiple generations. Today, we would like to invite some youth to talk about Earthian and how we can collaborate for tomorrow. Let's hear what the youth has to share. As we progress into the 21st century, social, economic, and environmental issues are continuing to surface. But with their emergence also comes the solution of sustainability through technology. 
International institutions and organizations have acknowledged that we cannot idly stand by and watch our demise. Instead, these issues have driven us to use the full extent of our abilities towards change and development. This is where innovation enters. Take the smartphone as an example. The digital economy has come to rely on intricate hardware and software. And even for handling our trash, engineers have invented machinery to automate the process of cleaning up the environment. It is clear that technology is spearheading the sustainable solutions the environment needs. And with that, a new solution, Earthion, is placing itself as the forefront of tackling these issues. Earthion was created in a cross-generational design thinking workshop in 2020. The name Earthion means Earth Mission, representing the belief that everyone should play a critical role in this mission. We believe technology will drive the sustainable green solutions necessary to reverse these crises. We hope Earthion will help us further our mission of tackling environmental challenges through technology and innovation. Thank you. The Earthian platform focuses on product design and we are committed to adopt 20 to 30% PCR in our products by 2025. We also focus on areas such as production, energy, logistics, packaging design, and recycling. We are very proud to share with you, we do have global partners committed to share the vision and the mission, including companies like AUO, Compel, Interlux, Quanta, and many others. Next, I would like to share with you one of our big commitment is RE100 by 2035. It's a big commitment of Acer group using 100% renewable energy by 2035. Another endeavor that we would like to share our two-tier carbon footprint disclosure project where we invite our suppliers and partners to disclose their carbon footprint. Besides collaborating with suppliers, our employees also initiate projects that have made impact. For now, I would like to introduce one of our employees, Henry, to join me on the stage. Thank you, Jason. Good to see you here. Great. Henry, do you want to share with people what we have been doing, what we have achieved? Sure, that's my pleasure. I'm glad to be here and share the results from some of our environmental efforts. Every decision counts, as even a small storm can make big ripples. Till the end of 2020, over 50 tons of batteries were recycled and remanufactured into new batteries from our internal recycling activities. And in 2020, alone, we have shipped over 6 million facility-free products and over 8.8 .8 million products contained with recycled plastic. So, recycled plastic and batteries are two major areas that we focus. Now, don't forget the packaging. Oh yeah, packaging is another one. 100% yeah, of Acer's laptops have already adopted recycled paper for packaging. It might seem a lot, but not enough for us. Keep going. Yeah. Sustainable design is actually a very complicated and challenging topic. Our endeavors started since 2016, with our ASA teams, our partners, and our suppliers working together and going through various possibilities, including materials, manufacturing processes, service treatments, and structural designs. The most important part to us and to our partners was to put this into action. So in 2020, we consolidated all these efforts together and made it real. So today, I'm so excited to introduce to you Aspire Vero. Wait, 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 that's my line. Ladies and gentlemen, allow us to introduce Aspire Vero.
Vero, green innovation starts here. Vero means truth. For us, the truth is that we only have this one Earth. Vero products need to consider environmental protection from multiple angles, including sustainable materials, repairability, upgradability, recyclability, and identity. Now, let's have a close look at Aspire Vero. Our new laptop based on sustainable principles. The laptop has been designed to be both earth-friendly and stylish. We combine colors, pigment effects, and texture to co-create a unique earthy style. It comes with high-quality details while avoiding additional surface treatment processes that are potentially harmful to the environment. Aspire Vero is made with post-consumer recycled, or in short, PCR plastic. We chose PCR plastic because it is a direct and efficient solution to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, up to 20% less carbon dioxide emissions than raw plastic. Most of the parts you see on this product are made with PCR plastic, including the enclosure and the keyboard caps. Even the display panel from our partner AUO is greener, which contains PCR plastic in its internal structure. If you noticed, our designers put some interesting and playful details on this design. The keyboard printing, PCR icon, and the lively earth engraved underneath are showing to the world that we are proud of what we believe. The design is to invite people who care for the environment like us. And together, we can make our Earth a better place. Besides the eco-friendly materials, Aspire Vero does not compromise on performance and product life. It's equipped with 11th generation Intel Core processors with a newly designed dual fan cooling system to ensure its performance and an optimum user experience. It's been designed to allow users to upgrade its memory and storage to make sure the product keeps performing well year after year, and to minimize waste. Our packaging is also made from recycled paper, with minimum printing for further recycling again in the future. We have also redesigned the structure to eliminate all plastic bags or protection films that are commonly seen in laptop packaging, while still provide great protection for the product. As BioVero, it's more than a computer. It is a laptop created with sustainability as its core and as the statement to show we care. As I said, every decision counts. This is the decision that we made. And now, your decision to support us will make the result even stronger. Now, let's welcome my colleague Robin to share with us our latest Thing and Life products. Thank you, Henry. Acer has been dedicated to developing the thinnest, lightest, and most powerful laptops. Today, I would like to introduce two of Acer's brand new Thin and Light devices, winners of the 2021 Red Dot Product Design Award. Let's start with the new TravelMate P6, designed for business professionals. The new norm is slowly changing from working from home to hybrid working, where performance, functionality, security, and connectivity have become critical. The TravelMe P6 takes full advantage of the new 11th gen Intel Core V Pro processor, so you know it's powerful. It's also verified on the Intel Evo platform to meet premium standards for instant wake, incredible performance, responsiveness, and long battery life. The Notebook's 20-hour battery can now be fast charged to 80% within just one hour. With 5G connectivity, users can stay connected between Wi-Fi access points. We've also responded to video conferences now being standard practice. This is the Acer Privacy Panel. When activated, the panel's viewing angle is reduced to 90 degrees, meaning what's on the screen can only be seen by the person directly in front of it. The notebook also features new AI noise cancellation technology, allowing for clear conversations anywhere. Considering all this tech, it may surprise you that we're still able to keep this device in just one kilogram light. 
The new TravelMe P6 is the ultimate solution to challenges professionals face today. Now, before I bring out the second award winner, let's take a look at this. I'm happy to introduce this product, the first member of the new Thin and Light Swift series offering discrete GPUs. If you're a creative worker who does a bit of everything, the Swift X has been engineered to dazzle you. On the outside, it's sleek and stylish, and under the hood, it's a true powerhouse. The new Swift X is a 14-inch laptop powered by the latest NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 GPU and AMD Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors. Whether you're a YouTuber, a live streamer, or even a casual gamer, the brand new SwiftX with its 4 HD IPS, 100% sRGB display will meet your needs on the go. To keep the SwiftX performing at such high levels consistently, we have redesigned its thermal management system. A ring on the top end creates more airflow, the air inlet keyboard expels up to 10% more heat, and dual heat pipes maximize cooling. With the brand new SwiftX, how much cooler does it get? And now, here's Angela to show you what's new with Kung Set D. We had a fantastic year with Kung Set D, the product lineup specifically designed for digital content creators. With triple digit in our key markets across the world, we're excited to see the Concept D community prosper. It is our mission to empower creators to be creators. We carefully listen to the feedbacks from the community and apply them to our product designs. Today, let's take a look at the new Concept D 5 series. The most obvious change is larger 16 inch 3K display, featuring slimmer bezels with an 87% screen to body ratio and we changed the aspect ratio to 16 by 10. So you benefit from the extra vertical screen real estate at the top and bottom. Ideal for arranging timelines, asset libraries, and toolbars while maintaining a large central workspace. As with all Concept D notebooks, color accuracy is the key. With Delta E less than two, the display is Pantone validated and able to reproduce 100% of the DCI-P3 color space. So we ensure that what you see is what you get. Along with the premium display capability, it comes with an updated choice of high-end graphics to suit your need. There's the Concept D5 with up to NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 graphics. And for more computing intensive tasks, the Concept D5 Pro comes with up to NVIDIA RTX A5000 graphics for you to tackle demanding engineering projects or 3D modeling with ease. And of course, both versions are NVIDIA Studio certified, so you have access to NVIDIA Studio drivers that accelerate creative software even further. Beyond sheer graphic performance, the new Concept D5 series is equipped with the latest 11th gen Intel Core i7 processors, delivering uncompromising processing power. And Aeroblade 3D fans with Asus Vortex Flow technology ensure that your system stays cool and responsive under heavy loads. We also make sure concept devices stay quiet at the same time, not exceeding 40 decibels, for you to be able to focus on your work without a disturbance from fan noise. The new Concept D5 series is a perfect set of mobile devices for creators to carry their creativity and imagination everywhere. Speaking of computing intensive tasks, 
3D software for creating CAD or CGI projects plays an important role in the modern digital creations. We look into 3D workflows and realize that there are certain limitations designers run into on a daily basis. Beyond the traditional 2D screen, advanced visualization is frequently requested for improving communications with colleagues or clients. From a personal experience, VR can be a perfect example, but it may not be the best fit for all scenarios. The desire for a hassle-free immersive solution is stronger than ever. Following Concept D's mission, we want to empower creators to explore the future of 3D beyond what was possible before. So, allow me to introduce you, Spatial Labs. <laughs> See things from a new perspective with Spatial Labs on Concept D. This cutting edge technology combines a lenticular lens display and two eye tracking cameras to render your 2D models in a 3D space in real time, enabling new experiences and applications across a wide range of industries. User friendly and easy to use, you'll enhance your workflows like never before with vivid, precise, and realistic visuals through every step of the process. Spatial Labs gives you the most in-depth and immersive viewing experience ever, letting you bring everyone into the world you create to better enjoy, visualize, and understand your big ideas. Avoid unnecessary steps in your workflow as you realize your designs in a highly precise working environment narrowing the gap between conception and completion and allowing you to visualize your ideas in a 3D environment so real that you feel like you can reach out and touch your creation. With Spatial Labs on Concept D, add a new dimension to your creations. Spatial Labs is a suite of experiences delivering intuitive interaction, an immersive sensation by means of advanced display and sensory solutions as well as real-time rendering technologies. Empowered by the combination of a stereoscopic 3D display, eye tracking and real-time rendering technologies, viewers are given an improved perception of depth, creating a stereoscopic 3D image of the object which floats right in front of the screen. Through this technology, you're seeing the image formed according to the position of your eyes, so you get sharp and vivid visuals even when you look around the object from side to side. The best thing about this is that you can see the stereoscopic 3D image without wearing any glasses. To ensure creators can utilize this technology out of box, Spatial Labs Model Viewer was developed for creators to easily convert existing 3D models and present them in stereoscopic 3D. Applying real-time rendering technologies, you are able to rotate and move the models, drag them out of the screen, or present them in your preferred lighting or backgrounds. The Special Labs Model Viewer supports all major 3D file formats, including FBX, OBJ, GLTF, and more. And that's not enough. Special Labs also offers add-ons for popular 3D software, such as Blender and Autodesk 3DX Max. They work as shortcuts to transfer your files into Special Labs Model Viewer with just one click, making the experience seamless. For Maya and Blender users, there are two additional tools to optimize your 3D visualization workflows. We cooperated with the middleware Pi stage for Maya, where you can edit your project in Maya while reviewing the work real time in stereoscopic 3D without the hassle of going back and forth rendering out the project through Maya. Also, making good use of Blender's stereoscopic function is our proprietary solution, Special Lab Scope, which renders side by side full screen content into stereoscopic 3D. So you are able to edit your Blender project on a 2D screen and review it real time in stereoscopic 3D through Special Lab Scope. Without any interruptions to your current workflows, 
The technology allows you to see your 3D creations in real time in true 3D. I'm sure that hearing just from me would not be enough. Let's hear from a Blender expert. Hey, I'm Steve, founder of CG Geek. I'm a 3D graphics artist on YouTube, and I love doing a little bit of everything in the world of 3D. Animations, modeling, environments, you can pretty much name it. And I teach many of these different workflows using the popular open source 3D creation suite Blender. Today I have the special opportunity to use the Acer Concept D prototype, which demonstrates the Spatial Labs experience. So let's see how this can benefit my workflow now as I recreate a four-year-old's adorable artwork using 3D graphics. And for starters, what I really love is the tight integration that Spatial Labs has with Blender. Using the Spatial Labs model viewer add-on with just one click, your models will be immediately exported and opened into the 3D model viewer for a smooth user experience to explore your model in real 3D. Or for a real-time workflow, you can use Acer's proprietary solution and transform your viewport into a window view straight into your 3D space. This works great when paired with a second display where you can work in 2D on one screen and viewer changes instantly in stereoscopic 3D on the Concept D notebook here. This essentially offers a window right into your 3D space, making your models jump out of the screen and allowing you to view them as if it was a physical object in front of you. And this is really beneficial for all of us 3D artists. For example, viewing my model here in the third dimension, I can easily spot inaccuracies or issues with my modeling or texturing and then make the corrections in real time. This also helps to really dial in the proportions on my characters. And this new view is also really great for framing shots and inspiring new creative camera angles by experiencing your 3D scenes in a new way. But what's great with Acer's smart visualization technology is it allows you to instantly switch back and forth between 2D and 3D views depending on your workflow. So when I'm not fully immersed in a 3D view, it still operates as a normal high resolution display. And the fact that it can be completely integrated into a slim, compact laptop like the Concept D7 makes it an incredible tool for artists on the go. These spatial 3D displays really feels like something straight out of the future, and going back to a flat 2D display afterwards suddenly feels primitive. So I'm really excited to see how far this tech goes and to continue advancing my 3D workflows using this immersive 3D experience. Thank you, Steve. We're glad that you enjoyed the experience. And we don't stop just here. The possibilities with Special Labs are endless. This technology not only helps designers to visualize their work with an improved perception of depth, but also allows developers to realize and present their projects with an additional dimension. It could be applied on a kiosk in a museum, telling you the story about Mona Lisa. Or it can be in a showroom for you to browse through the combinations of different watch bands or surfaces. Supporting Unreal Engine through our XR runtime, you are able to develop your Unreal project for different use cases and present them in stereoscopic 3D. To make this vision become a reality, we invite you to join our Special Labs developer program and create mesmerizing projects with us. Let's hear from John Bazell, the lead of Unreal Engine Enterprise Business Development. At Epic Games, we are absolutely dedicated to supporting the hardworking and innovative creators and developers in the community like you and the end users that you entertain, educate, and inspire. With Unreal Engine, we offer the same tools and techniques that we use to support hundreds of millions of players around the globe and across more than a dozen platforms. And best of all, we make it free for everyone. Real-time 3D is changing how people work and play across industries and around the globe. Creators and developers are finding limitless applications and instant benefits from games, film, and TV, to architecture and automotive, simulation and training, manufacturing, and more. Your innovative content and experiences are breaking through on every type of device, including the most advanced immersive platforms. Now, Unreal Engine provides the most advanced real-time 3D tools for visualization, for interactivity, collaboration, rendering, and more. And when people see your innovative content and experiences on those immersive devices using real-time rendering, it's intuitive and powerful. You can move through a scene, ducking under different uh, effects, looking in every corner, inspecting objects from every angle. It's truly powerful. So we're excited about the possibilities with Acer's new Spatial Labs developer program. We think it'll give you new ways to visualize products and places 
to do training, even entertaining, we think you'll want to be part of Acer's new Spatial Labs developer program. Those submitted to the program will receive a Concept D prototype device and personal support by our team. Their input will also directly influence the development of our future devices. Details can be found on Acer.com and we begin accepting worldwide applications today. We can't wait to take this exciting technology forward with you. Now let's hand it over to the also exciting world of Predator. The floor is yours, Clark. For us, Predator is not just a brand. It represents our passion in wanting to put powerful PCs in the hands of our users. And no matter who or where you are in the world today, if gaming has somehow found its way into your life, we think you'll like what we have to show you today. Now, in terms of gaming, the display is one of the most important parts of any setup. A good monitor can either completely transform the way that you see your game, usually for the better, while a bad display will make you question the entire pursuit. Fortunately, what we want to show you today falls on the good side of those things. This here is the Predator CG7. Now, if that name sounds familiar, that's because we've actually announced it previously, only now we've made some important changes that we think you'll really appreciate. But as a quick refresher, let's go over exactly what it is. This is a 4K 42.5 inch Display HDR 1000 Behemoth. It has 90% DCI-P3 color gamut and can go up to 144 Hz refresh rate. Only now, the change we've made to it includes HDMI 2.1 functionality. This is an incredible change that matters both for PC and next-gen consoles. Not only can you hit 144Hz on a single cable with no color degradation, you can also hit 120Hz on your next-gen consoles. In addition to this, it does have support for variable refresh rate and NVIDIA G-Sync compatibility. No matter which tech you use, your frames and your games will thank you as they keep everything tear-free and beautiful. So if you've already upgraded or are planning to upgrade and just are looking for a new king of the hill display to put on your desk or use as a TV replacement, the CG7 fulfills that role perfectly. Now on the subject of upgrades, naturally we couldn't leave our laptops out in the cold, though to be honest that is where they run best. But our 2021 laptop lineup is looking good. This here is the Predator Triton 500 SE. And like the 300 SE before it, we designed it for travel and plenty of mayhem. Whether you want to take it to work, go to a friend's house, or just lounge around the house and go through your Game Pass PC library and say, what do I want to be today? And at just 19.9 millimeters, it has a more understated look with the pure silver coating and a cold to the touch metallic chassis. But that isn't really the most unique thing about this laptop. In truth, the display is extremely important. You could say gone or farewell to the days of Full HD because this uses a 16 inch, 16 by 10 WQXGA panel. That's 2560 by 1600 much higher than its QHD counterparts out there. In addition to that, you do have a 240 hertz refresh rate and three millisecond overdrive response time. So you basically get everything. You get the high-end hardware, you get the fast refresh, and the good-looking display, and the design. Now, because we did design these for travel, battery is an important thing, but anybody who's used a gaming laptop before you will tell you that that's not a thing. That's not the case with the 500 SE. With NVIDIA Optimus technology and dynamic display switching, you can actually get up to 12 hours of battery out of this. And it does this by basically switching between the discrete and the non-discrete GPU, depending on what you're doing at the time. So you finally can get a last minute game or attend to a last minute render edit without having to scrounge for an outlet because you realize you're at 50% battery remaining. That's no longer an issue. Now, if you're like me, you probably plan to use the 500 SE as a desktop replacement. And that means the ports are extremely important. No problem there, you have two Thunderbolt 4 ports and two USB 3.2s, including HDMI 2.1. This will allow you to connect to three 4K additional displays should you so choose. It's quite awesome. Now, we also added uh, something that was a point of contention for some gaming laptops, and that is an SD 7.0 card reader. 
Basically, this will allow you to very quickly edit and store and transfer data files such as video or photos very fast. If you're a streamer or if you record your gameplay, it will also allow you to give you an extra way to carry those without having to carry an external hard drive around. Now, what does this all mean without the performance to back it up? Fortunately, we have you covered there. This has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 RAM, and very fast M.2 PCIe NVMe storage. Like we said, best of the best. And since cooling is always a priority for us, we put inside our 5th gen Aeroblade 3D fan technology and Vortex Flow optimization. Driving this all is an 11th gen Intel Core i9 processor with up to 8 cores to play around with as you see fit. Fortunately, we've invited our good friend from Intel, Steve Long, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing, to break down exactly why this was the perfect fit for the 500 SE. Thank you, Clark. It's a privilege to be at GPC. And I'm gonna admit, I miss the high fives, but face-to-face -face or virtual, it's always a highlight to usher in Acer's latest innovations. The last 18 months have reaffirmed what we do, our purpose. We make the world better through the power of technology. And the PC is at the heart of the human digital experience, the essential tool to be productive, connected, and entertain. This is why today I'm excited to announce the launch of this Predator Triton 500 SE. The evolution of the Predator series is yet again an example of Acer's commitment to understanding what their audience wants. It was designed for both the millennial professional and the enthusiast. To meet their needs requires the best inside. This is why Intel's latest, the 11th gen Intel Core H series is at the center of the experience. The latest H-Series processors provide industry-leading performance and continue our drumbeat of execution and innovation. Listen to what we pack in here. Up to eight cores, PCIe Gen 4, 19% gen-on-gen improvements in multi-threaded tasks, Wi-Fi 6 and 6E, up to five gigahertz to work and play. That starts getting me excited, and I know I'm never gonna be on the League of Legends leaderboard, but I do know that what matters is having the best gameplay experience. If you take Intel's platform capabilities, combine them with the gaming publisher optimization work that we do, the gameplay on this system is unmatched. Delivering desktop caliber gameplay on a thin and light system, it's only possible through Acer and Intel co-engineering. Huge congrats to the Acer team, but most of all, congratulations to all the enthusiasts and professional creators out there. This is a winning product. Now, Clark, maybe now that I have this system in my hands, I can finally beat you. Back to you. Now, Triton isn't the only line that we've actually reworked. A few years ago, we launched our Predator Helios 500. And today, we want to show you the latest iteration of that same powerful laptop. Now, the most obvious change is to the design. We've absolutely infused this thing with RGB from head to toe. Obviously, you can see the light strips here in the front, and on the sides and in the back. And we even made the additional effort to put in extra LEDs inside each of these light strips so that color is completely fluid and consistent throughout the entire thing. Now on the subject of RGB, I want to take a look at the keyboard. This does include per key RGB so you can completely customize it to your own preferences, style and taste. Whether you want to combine it with your light strips or make the light strips do one part while the keyboard does something else. And we even have two new interactive modes uh, that we'll give you a sneak peek at later. Now, in addition to those very cool features, we actually have something quite unique on the keyboard. These are the MagForce and Racing Keys. These were recently only found in the Helios 700, but we decided to bring them over, well, because we could. These keys are quite fun because how they function is much like a gamepad's analog joystick. They give you minute control over your movement. So instead of going from zero to 100%, now you can control that in between speed, whether it's in a racing game or in a stealth game. It's very unique and we're happy to deliver it to the Helios 500. Now diving into what's underneath the hood of this powerful machine, there's a lot going on there. Obviously we had to include an overclockable 11th gen Intel Core i9 processor, GeForce RTX 3080 graphics, up to 64 gigabytes of 3200 DDR4 RAM, and very, very fast M.2 PCIe NVMe storage. But 
Still, this doesn't mean anything without the right cooling to really power the machine as far as you want to take it. This includes our 5th gen Aeroblade 3D fan technology, Vortex Flow optimization, and, quite unique, the Predator Power Gem. Previously, this was only found on the Helio 700, but we decided to bring it over to the Helios 500, well, because we could. And to get the kind of performance you want out of this machine, it was just the right choice. Now, one feature we haven't talked about yet is the display, and that's partially because we're so excited about it. There will be three models. First is Full HD at 360 Hz, QHD at 165, and 4K, but this is not any ordinary 4K display. This is a mini LED from AUO. If you're not familiar with mini LEDs or fall displays, they're quite special because they use a lot of backlight zones to provide dramatically better contrast than their LCD counterparts. The Helios 500, for example, has 512 backlight zones. Most laptops only have one or maybe even eight. In addition to that, it is Display HDR 1000 certified, can rev up to 120 hertz refresh rate, and has a three millisecond response time. The only unfortunate thing is that when you have a display like this, you really need to be in front of it to see it, to believe it. So if you get a chance to check one out in person, you definitely want to take it. Naturally, we're going to have a glowing opinion of our laptop, which is why we delivered one into the hands of Dillian Clark, aka Get Flanked, who himself specializes in Rainbow Six Siege content and has been playing since beta. To introduce himself further and see what he thought, here he is. What's up, everybody? I'm Get Flanked, gamer, YouTuber, streamer, podcast host, and content creator for Dark Zero Esports. Over the past week, I've been testing out the new 2021 Predator Helios 500 to see what it's actually capable of. I decided the best way to try it out was to dare down my everyday desktop PC setup and instead use the Helios in its place to see if it could keep up with my needs as a gamer and content creator for a whole week. So let's start with the most important test for any gaming laptop. Can you actually game on it comfortably? The first thing that jumped out to me as I started using the Helios was the keyboard. With the Helios 500, I didn't feel the need to use a separate keyboard on a laptop if I'm going to play seriously. I think a big reason why is the keyboard features Magtech mechanical linear switches that allow you to switch out the standard keys with Magforce keys and racing key sets provided with the laptop. So you'll be able to adjust the actuation point on those keys depending on how you play. There's also a large flat area where my wrist naturally wants to rest that adds to my comfort level. This laptop also has the most advanced RGB lighting system I've seen. Three RGB light bars on the sides that spill out onto the table and an optic fiber light strip on the back that lights up the wall. There's enough lighting on board to set up an entire mood room. The keyboard is also part of the Predator Pulsar lighting system. So it has modes like audio sync, which is quite cool when playing music or watching movies, and mimic, which is basically the keyboard sync that displays light patterns. Another big factor that goes into being able to play and be comfortable on a laptop is how effectively it can cool itself. This is where I really feel the entire Predator lineup defines itself. The fifth generation Aeroblade 3D fans, Vortex Flow, and Power Gem technology work together to keep the laptop cool even in long gaming sessions. Now for the hardest test. Is it possible that I can actually get a professional stream from a laptop? Before going live, I hit the turbo button to max out the performance. I found that the Helios was able to output a 1080p 60fps stream while also keeping me at a consistent and healthy frame rate in Rainbow Six Siege game. I streamed for over an hour and the laptop kept up to the demands without breaking a sweat. Having the peace of mind that I'll be able to perform at my highest level in game and as a content creator, even when I'm not at home and on my normal setup, is a great feeling. Would I live with this every day? I don't even think that's a question anymore. Woohoo! Every time when I see people talk how much they appreciate our computer, our offer, I feel very hard touching. Yeah, same for me. I mean, whenever you upgrade a GPU, you always feel very good to actually try it out, sit in front of your PC, and enjoy the new game. And for this Helio 500, we actually integrated NVIDIA technology into it. Let's see what they have for us. Thank you, Jason. We've been working with your team for over 18 years and together delivered some amazing products. It's really been great to see our partnership continue to grow. And what better time to talk about a new class of laptops? High-performance laptop sales are booming. 2020 was another record year. This is being fueled by gamers, creators, and students buying new thin and powerful laptops. On top of that, NVIDIA RTX is changing everything. 
Its combination of RT cores for ray tracing and tensor cores for AI-based DLSS delivers the biggest leap forward in laptops in over a decade. The Acer Swift X features our newest laptop GPU, the GeForce RTX 3050 Ti. It packs impressive power for its thin and light form factor. Our third gen Max-Q, powered by AI, helps make this possible. And for the first time, the 3050 Ti brings RTX to the mainstream. This includes NVIDIA DLSS, which provides a massive increase in performance without drawing more power or affecting battery life. For gamers who want to crank up the settings, the Predator Triton 500 SE and the Predator Helios 500 do just that. With up to a GeForce RTX 3080, this laptop enables cinematic ray trace graphics for the most immersive gaming experiences. RTX ray tracing and DLSS are supported in many of the world's most popular games, including the number one battle royale, the number one MMO, the number one RPG, and Minecraft, the number one game of all time. RTX ray tracing and AI accelerated performance are equally important for creators. They need powerful tools to keep up with the speed of their imaginations. That's where the Acer Concept D comes in. The latest models with GeForce RTX 30 series laptop GPUs offers up to 5x the rendering performance, up to 8K HDR raw video editing, and up to 16 gigabytes of GPU memory. Over 60 creator apps are now RTX accelerated for 3D animation, video editing, photography, graphics design, architecture, and more. There's never been a better time to be a gamer or creator. NVIDIA is such a critical part of our offer. Using a different graphic card will actually give people a very, very different gaming experience. Of course, it gives you a huge advantage. Like whenever I've upgraded my machine and switched to the most powerful graphics card, you notice an immediate change. And since the Helios 500 does use the 3080 RTX, it's like the most powerful in its series as well. And Helio 500 is more than just a computer itself. It comes with 5G. That's right, we do have a 5G model that we are announcing today. Uh, that's quite important because we want our gamers to stay mobile. Like no matter if you want to just game at home, but if you want to attend a LAN party, there's always something missing and that's the internet connection that, where you have to typically worry about Wi-Fi. And in, in fact, when the introduction of 5G, people have been wondering you know, what kind of application people will use for 5G. And now we got a perfect one that's for gaming, for gamers. Yeah, I mean, 5G gaming is actually a thing. With 4G, not so much, but 5G is actually going to work. When you compare it to some of the cable and DSL speeds on there, it's either on par or above uh, what those kind of connections are able to achieve. And now 5G is included, is embedded in our machine. And on top of that, we have other offer as well. That's right, we do have two other options, the Predator Connect 5G dongle and the Predator Connect X5 5G CPE. The dongle is actually quite interesting because like with the 5G uh, Helios 500, we want people to stay mobile. The dongle lets you immediately connect to wherever you're going, coffee shop or a friend's wait, house. Wait, 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 wait. I do understand that there are some people that when they do computers, they want to connect, they, they connect to their smartphone and then they use the smartphone, in case it's 5G smartphone, to connect. And what is that different? Uh, well, I mean, you could, I wouldn't want to, but you definitely could, right? But the, the drawback is like if you're using your phone in the mobile hotspot, it always heats up. It consumes a lot of power. And that too, yeah. And no matter what, uh, you don't get the kind of network prioritization that you would want on a phone. Those apps and all the stuff in the background are going to consume a lot of power and a lot of your connectivity as well. And the prioritization uh, feature that we, we call it Killer. You want to talk a little bit about Killer? Sure, the dongle and uh, the CPE both support Killer networks. And that's extremely important because all of our laptops pretty much use uh, Intel Killer adapters as well. So the kind of connectivity you're getting between those, you'll be able to minutely control the network to get low latency, low pings, and you'll be able to redirect traffic wherever you want. So if you're playing a game and someone else is watching a video, 
Stop your video, I'm playing a game. You no longer have to do that. And if they don't, you can always segue the traffic to be focused that direction uh, so you don't have to worry too much about it. And it's that kind of dual connectivity that's really powerful. Like if you already have a landline and want the benefit of some, uh, another connection to pick up the slack, that's where the dongle and the CPE is. They both fill that role perfectly. So what we are talking about today is the gaming and it's beyond the gaming. That's right, like these are gonna, take you the next step, where previously you're kind of situated in one place. The CPE and the dongle will both allow you to stay extremely mobile and have some of the fastest connections possible as well. And the CPE, in addition to that, the CPE is quite cool. We mentioned that it does work with killer networks, but more specifically, it works with killer's uh, prioritization engine. So that we are now a PC company, a gaming PC company, and we provide connectivity devices and solution as well. Technology advances taller tomorrow, but we should keep in mind that we only have one planet, and we will collaborate with our partners to achieve a greener tomorrow. For that, let me introduce Intel CEO, Pat Gelsinger. Thank you, Jason. It's great to be here today to celebrate our long-standing partnership and all the great things Intel and Acer are doing together. Congratulations on the Acer Aspire Vero product launch. I am delighted to hear about Acer's sustainability efforts. Intel has a long history in leadership and corporate responsibility. For decades, we have worked to advance progress on complex issues together with our customers. We are proud of the accomplishments we have made in sustainability efforts over the past 10 years, including a 71% increase in renewable energy worldwide, restoration of 1 billion gallons of water, and especially our efforts to reinvent the life cycle of products, resulting in less than 1% of product materials returned to Intel, ending up in a landfill. A significant, significant impact. I am both humbled by the challenges and excited by the limitless opportunities made possible by the magic of technology. Digital technology is transforming the world at an accelerated pace, driven by what I call the four superpowers, cloud, connectivity fueled by 5G, artificial intelligence, and the intelligent edge. They are superpowers because each expands the impact of the others, and together they are reshaping every aspect of our lives and work. This goes straight to Intel's purpose and my own passion, creating world-changing technologies that improves the life of every human on the planet. Recently, I outlined our vision for IDM 2.0, a major evolution in our manufacturing and design model. IDM 2.0 is an elegant strategy that will deliver a new era of innovation, manufacturing, and product leadership. I also highlighted that we are significantly expanding our manufacturing capacity with more than $20 billion of our new investment in our foundry capability. This includes large-scale capacity expansion in Arizona, as well as support for advanced semiconductor packaging technologies in New Mexico. We will be a major provider of foundry capacity to serve the incredible demand for semiconductor manufacturing. We are proud to partner with PC makers like Acer to develop the most sustainable PCs through purposeful technology, such as modern standby that has increased energy efficiency on notebooks by 14%. Future Intel Evo specs for PCs will incorporate sustainability requirements, such as EPEAT compliance. We look forward to more exciting innovations across the PC landscape made possible with silicon, ingenuity, collaboration, and yes, a little bit of magic. I heartily thank our friends at Acer for our partnership in building a wonderful future together. Thank you, Pat. We believe by working together with our employees, suppliers, and consumers, we can change perspectives to build a better tomorrow, today. Thank you for your time, your attention. That's pretty much what we have today. We'll see you next time.